Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to take a look at arithmetic operations, which is a type of measurement and data question. In particular, we're going to be looking at the specific category called rate. So let's begin by reading this very short piece of information about what you can expect in a rate question. Rates is a measure, quantity or frequency, typically one measured against another quantity or measure. It may involve the speed at which a task is completed or the price at which an object is charged. You will need to identify the unknown by converting given information to fit the question. Multiplication and division are usual operations used in rates. Okay, so rates are essentially kind of like very, very, very similar to ratios. They represent pieces of information um, or it gives you a sense of what's happening. So rates are very, very common in a lot of everyday scenarios. And the information provided has mentioned a couple. So I'm sure you've all heard the price of many objects. So for example, uh, if socks cost $3 per pair of sock, the rate at which it's charged or is charging you to pay for would just be $3 per sock. Or you may have heard of how quickly a car is traveling represented by for example kilometers per hour so all rates are is essentially they're a ratio using two different units and they're being used to tell you information of how much or how fast or how some quantity is changing so that means that because these rates are so heavily dependent on units, since they're just comparing the rate of two different units, uh, different units in questions have to be really taken care of when you're doing these questions. Because whenever you've got different units, then you know you can't complete the question. So a lot of the times conversion is a big thing that you need to watch out for to ensure that you're getting the correct answer. Now, the other thing to be careful of is the fact that rates need to be maintained throughout the question. So that means we can use the concept of equivalent rates to do a lot of these questions. And that's where the multiplication and division concepts come into play. So, ratio, so rates are basically similar things to ratios and fractions, which means that you can manipulate the number that you're given for the rate by multiplying or dividing the rate and that will keep it at the exact same original kind of measure without changing it too much. So being quite confident in your multiplication and division skills is going to be important as well. One final tip I would say would be to kind of take a step back once you finish your calculations and think if your answer makes sense. For example, if you've got a question where you've got builders, uh, maybe you've got six builders building a house in, an, in, uh, in one day. Now, if you double the number of workers and maintained that rate of working, then it makes sense that the time needed to complete the construction would be halved rather than doubled as well because more helping hands are present to finish the job quicker. So it doesn't make sense. It would take double the amount of time. So taking a step back once you've completed your calculation to just think about does this pass the common sense check is going to be very important and may potentially be able to save you from making some silly mistakes. So let's put all of that into play in this example question. In this question, we have Alice's Tea Party Company, um, where rabbits are making some tea bags. And we're given the rate here where five rabbits take six hours to make 72 tea bags. Now, unfortunately, it looks like two of the rabbits have fallen ill the next day, but production needed to complete uh, 144 tea bags. In this scenario, how long would it take to complete this task? Okay, so this is the rate that the question gives where we are told that five rabbits are needed to make 72 tea bags at the time of six hours. 
So generally, when you're dealing with rate questions, it's really handy to draw up a table or some kind of diagram that helps you contextualize the information that you're provided. So if we've got a table for the number of rabbits you need, the amount of time they need to complete their task, and how many tea bags they can create in a table like so. We're told in the question it takes five rabbits six hours to make 72 tea bags. Now, before we actually move on, because the question wants us to figure out how many hours it takes for a different number of rabbits to make these these tea bags and what helps is to figure out the unit rate and all that means is to figure out how many hours is needed for just one rabbit to complete the task and then you can use that information as a basis to figure out how many rabbits sorry how many hours are needed when three rabbits take the task on instead of the one so to do that, we know that this rate has to be maintained regardless of how many rabbits or hours are being completed. So to do that, what we can do is multiply or divide this rate. Now, we want to figure out the unit rate, which, as you recall, talked about how many hours it takes for one rabbit to make 72 tea bags. So what you do is take a look at what transformation was applied to the original number to make the new number. And remember, you're only allowed to work with multiplication or division. You're not allowed to use additional subtraction with rates. So that means to transform five into one, a transformation of division of five has been applied. So that means to maintain that rate, we need to uh, apply the opposite to the number of hours taken. Now, again, remember a tip was to take a step back and think about this conceptually. You have five rabbits originally, and now you've gone down to one rabbit. So this poor rabbit has to make 72 tea bags all by himself and carry this weight around. So that means it's going to take him forever to make all of these tea bags because before he had lots of help uh, reducing the amount of time taken. So don't divide this hour by five, but multiply it instead. So that kind of step back helps you decide which operator you should be using for the question. So remember, we need to multiply by the same number that it was divided with to maintain the ratio. So that gives us six times five, which is equal to 30 hours for this single rabbit to complete this task. So now we need to figure out what would be the case if we have three rabbits. So if we have three rabbits and we're still making the same number of tea bags, we can use this information to figure out how much hours are needed. So from one to three, this time we have multiplied by three to get this number. So again, doing the same thing, are we dividing or multiplying the hours? Well, we've got more rabbits uh, helping out this time, so it makes sense that we divide. So we've got 10 hours only when three rabbits are making 72 tea bags. So that would be the case when two rabbits fell ill and produced 72 tea bags. But the question isn't done yet. The question actually wants us to figure out how long it would take for three rabbits to complete 144 tea bags. So this time, instead of the transformation being applied to the rabbits, it's being applied to the tea bags. So tea bags now are needed to be produced to 144, which is twice the amount of the original tea bags that was needed. So the number of rabbits have stayed the same and the thing that's changing is the hours needed to complete it. Now, again, think about this. The number of rabbits has not changed. So there's no more help than before in this case scenario. But the number of tea bags that you make has doubled. So does it make sense for the hours to increase or decrease for the rabbits? 
of course the time is going to increase. So this time we multiply by two to get 20 hours needed for these three rabbits to make 144 tea bags. So the correct answer is going to be option B. Okay, so you can see by utilizing this kind of table and taking a step back to think about what makes sense for your actions, it can be a really easy way to figure out your rates questions. And that would definitely be a technique that I utilize for any of my future rates questions I encounter in the future. Hopefully this video was of some help to you. Thank you everyone so much for paying attention today.